Hello everyone, my name is Mario. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to master your TI-30XS. So this is a normal scientific calculator that I'm gonna go over some of the main features that you should know, all right? And you can actually show this to your students, or if you are a student, then these are the ones, the, the main um, functions that you wanna know. So for the TI-30XS, uh, this is a highly recommended calculator, by the way. Uh, if you're interested in buying one, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. So here is one of the main things you need to know how to insert a negative number. So on the bottom here, that is the negative number. You can use that for operations like negative 11 plus negative 3, which will give you a negative 14. There isn't an equal sign, so you press the enter sign, which is the same as the equal sign. Uh, next, you go into, um, I'm going to show you the how to erase button. So that will be the uh, clear your screen here, which is this button right here. Uh, this is the directional button, allows you to move up and down in your screen. This one is one of the most important one, which is the N over D button, which is a fraction button. So you can do operations like 3 over 2 plus 5 over uh, 3, which will give you 19 over 6. Um, of course, you'll press enter again, or which is the same as the equal sign. Next thing you want to know is the x square here. So if you have a number like 7 square, which will give you 49, here are more examples. Uh, you can press that button there. If you have another uh, exponent like 3 or 4, so I did 3 to the 4, you'll use the caret key. Here are some examples. So 3 to the 4 will be the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which will be 81. Uh, another one, another function that you need to know is the square root. So square root, you activate it by clicking the second function, and then you go to square root of x squares, and then you put the number. So like square root of 81 will be equals to 9. All right. Uh, to activate the Q root or any other root, the end root, you can actually press second function and the caret key, and then you press the number. Okay. Um, another important key will be the approximation key, which is the double arrows. That is uh, the key that allows you to switch to exact and approximate answer. So like if I type 22 over 7 and I press enter, I will get the same 22 over 7. But if you want an approximation, you can actually press that key. And when you do that, you'll get 3.14, which is very close to uh, pi. Um, and that is it. Just make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right. This is Mario and I will see you on the next video.